Hi, this is Karthik. Welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use blending options in Adobe Photoshop. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use blending options in Adobe Photoshop. Blending options in Adobe Photoshop allows you to control how layers blend together in terms of transparency, color, and effects. It includes features like layer style, blending modes, opacity, and more, enabling you to create various visual effects enhance images and achieve desired result in your design or edit. In order to complete the task, we need to open Adobe Photoshop. How to open Adobe Photoshop? It's quite simple. Go to search and type photo where you can able to locate Adobe Photoshop 2024. Just click the icon in order to open it. When you click the icon, it will take you to the default welcome to Photoshop window where it consists of plenty of options. When you click the option new file, the new document window will pop up and it consists of various tabs like recent, saved, photo, print, art and illustration, web, mobile, film and video, which consists of default templates offered by Auto Photoshop. Now we are going to build our own templates by using preset details. Provide a document name and I'm going to give the document name as exercise one. Set the width to 1920 pixel and set the height to 1080 pixel. Set the resolution to 72 pixel per inch. Set the color mode to RGB color and 8-bit. Set the background contents to white. Regarding the advanced options, leave the settings as it is and hit the create button in order to create a new Photoshop document. The Photoshop will create a default layer called as background layer and the layer is locked. The next step is to insert a new layer and how to insert a new layer. On the right hand bottom corner where you can find the plus symbol, just click the plus symbol to insert a layer. Double click on the layer one and rename the layer as text. Next step, we are going to change the background color. Double click on the background color in order to open the color picker. From the color picker, either you can choose a color or else you can enter a value and click OK. You can see the background color still remains the same. Go to gradient tool and right click and select the paint bucket tool. Click the document in order to change the background. Next step, we need to open blending options. How to open blending options? Right click on the thumbnail image where you can see the blending options. Or else, double click the thumbnail image in order to open the blending options. Check the option stroke and change the size to 200 pixel, position center, blending mode dissolved, and opacity 70%. Fill type color and choose the color as you like or else you can enter a value and click OK. Check the option Inner Shadow and apply the following. Select the Blend Mode, Multiply and click on Color in order to change the color. Either you can choose a color or else you can enter a value and click OK. Go to the option Contour and select Curve Deep and Noise to 80% and click OK. Select the Type tool and type Welcome to. Select the text, Welcome to, and select the font, font style, and font size as per your requirement. Go to text color. Either you can choose a color or else you can enter a value. Use more tool to place the text as per your requirements. Select the type tool and type Photoshop. Use more tool to place the text as you like. Go to the layer, Welcome to. Right click the layer and go to blending options. Check the option stroke and apply the following. Size 20 pixel, position outside, blend mode dissolved, opacity 90%. Fill type color and choose a color as you like or else you can enter a value and click OK. And click OK in order to close the layer style. Go to the layer, Photoshop, and right click the layer and go to blending options. Check the option stroke and apply the following. Size 30 pixel, position outside, blend mode, hard mix, opacity 100%, fill type color, and choose a color or else you can enter a value and click OK and click OK to close the layer style. Now this is the time to save the output. 
go to file and go to the option save us when you click the option save us save us dialog box will pop up select the location you wish to save and provide a file name and hit the save button go to file and go to the option save us when you click the option save us save us dialog box will pop up this time we are going to save the file as pdf file click okay to override your current settings in the save dialog box click the option save pdf and click is to save the document as pdf i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video kindly like share comment and subscribe see you all in the next video